Hi everybody, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming again, and um, I realize there's something I probably should have covered in the video explaining how to adjust the manual TDP. Um, somebody had brought it up about the fan curves, and they have a point. They kind of go hand in hand. Um, but in order to try and get something out there, I figured I'd make another video real quick, kind of covering those and how you'd set them up. And uh, just keep in mind that this is kind of up to you. Um, you know, one way will create a lot of fan noise and cool it better. Um, other way might run a little bit hotter, um, but at the same time, um, not make as much noise. So, um, we're going to go ahead and just go into operating mode. This is in your ROG um, app, so remember it's this little ROG button here. Then you're going to go into, you probably start on game library, so you just go over to settings here, and then you're going to go into operating mode. Now, this is assuming you already have it set to manual mode here which I'm actually going to close this real-time monitor so you can see I've got manual mode selected. So if you go down here uh, and you've already set your TDPs for SPL, SPPT, and FPPT, uh, then you're going to want to go ahead and set your fan curve with it. So you can kind of go back and forth here. And I will tell you, I've noticed um, that sometimes this doesn't move back and forth. There skips buttons, that type of thing. Um, I've heard some people say you might want to close out Steam. Uh, in my case, I closed out the app completely um, and then uh, reopened it. In order to close it completely, you can close this, make sure that you're in um, desktop mode, and then you're going to move your mouse down here, and you're going to use your right click, which if you've configured it, could be a different button, but for me, it is this top trigger. Let me go ahead and show you here. I'm going to scoot this back a little bit, but this uh, or yeah trigger so this is a bumper and the one behind it is the trigger so for me that's the top trigger so when, that's gonna do my right click so when I do that I'm gonna take it over here and just hit close window you'll wait until the icon disappears and then you just hit your button up here to open it back up so we're not gonna close it now because I just did that before this video um, and let me go ahead and try and get back zoomed in on the screen here so we're going to go into this and go back to our fan curve. So you're going to have two fan curves, and that's because there are two fans. There are two vents up here where you'll feel heat dissipate out of, out of the top. And so we're going to adjust the fan curve for both. I don't see a way to make it basically duplicate them, which is kind of a pain. Um, but you set this up and save it, and you should be fine. So you got three different options. So each fan uh, has three options. These are to set up multiple fan curves if you want to have different fan curves set. Uh, maybe you've got a manual mode where you want the fans to be really high and keep it cool, but it's a little bit louder, then, then that's fine. Um, but you, you can set these however you want. Just keep in mind that you want to make sure that you keep the device cool. So uh, I'm going to set both of these up the same way. I'm going to go into fan one and um, uh, memory one essentially and then I'm gonna go down here so if you're not used to a computer and uh, you, you don't work with fan curves or set this type of stuff up uh, then this will be useful information for you I'm used to doing this on my main PC uh, and I've been working with the computers for years so um, I always kind of tweak these things and uh, this is what I would call the most default configuration that will work fine for most people so most people don't want super loud fans. So as long as you are below um, 60, and this is in Celsius, as long as you're below 60, you don't need a lot of cooling. When you start getting a little bit higher than that, you need to bump up the cooling. So um, what I would probably do for most people is keep this at about 25%. So we're going to go ahead and keep it at... 10% here so you have a little bit of fan to keep it cool if it's you know hot you I mean you could probably get away with making that even um, even less if you wanted to so and uh, you hit a to select one and then you use the directional pad here um, here I'll move it back a little bit just so you can see so you hit uh, the a button well I'm not getting the whole thing in the screen there let's let's adjust this Make sure everyone has a good idea here. So hit A, and then you can adjust it. You see I can move the curve. 
You can also just do this with your finger. It's it's probably a little bit easier that way. But if you don't want to touch screen, then then you can use it this way. So you see right there. Um, hopefully you can see we're at 17 percent. I'm going to bump that down to 10 percent here. And so I'm saying at 10 percent at 39C. So now you hit the B button here on the right side to get off of that, and then you can move to the other ones. Then when you pick one, you hit the A button to select it, and then you can adjust it. So this is 45C. So honestly, for me, I'm going to say between 45 and 60. or We'll just say, we'll, we'll start here, yeah. So this is 55. So I'm going to keep the fan speed at 10% at that point. Um, because as long as it's under that, you're probably pretty good. So hit B, and then I'm going to go over to 60, and at 60, I'm going to bump it to 25%. And then at 70, it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 30%. And, and like I said, these are really up to you. You can change these to what make you happy. Um, but I'm not going to uh, worry about that until I get higher. Once I get up to 80, I'm going to bump this thing up. To 50 percent because if you're getting to 80 it needs some pretty serious cooling and um, I don't really like that fan noise but if I'm up there it needs the cooling and then if I get up to 90 degrees then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on max so max is something I typically don't want to run on because it's loud and can be annoying but if you're at 90 or 100 you need to be running max fans to cool your device down so you can kind of tweak this to your liking. Um, this is just kind of how I do it. Uh, so you can just kind of see it's, it's kind of a curve that just keeps going up as you get hotter. Now, in all honesty, um, once you get to around 70 and get 30%, or if you get up to this, ramping that fan curve up is probably going to cool it down so it goes back down to quieter um, or kind of a happy medium. So what you want to do is you just replicate this on both fans. There's no point in really having a different fan curve on each one. I mean, I'm sure some people could get into the technicalities of it and say, this fan's over this portion of the motherboard and this other fan's over another portion of the motherboard. So if you want to get into the real technical details, you could have them different. Uh, but for the majority of people, I think you're going to be fine with just setting this, the fan curve the same on both. So we're going to go ahead and jump down to fan two, and we're going to do the same thing. We're up until about 55 um, we're going to go ahead and set this to 10%. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and start with this first one here. You know, these don't match exactly. Um, so we'll move. Looks like that one's right before 40. That one is about halfway through 40. And then we're going to move this one over to 55. And then if we go to the bottom one and bump it up to 10%, it should bring the other ones up to 10% as well. So we'll save that. Just hit B to remove it or to uh, um, to leave that. And then we're going to do like the other one and bring it up to 60. We're at 60. We bring it up to about 25%. And then 70, we brought up to... I think it was around 30%, and then 80, we've got it at 50%, and anything above that, we're going to go ahead and take it all the way up to 100% because it's getting too hot. Now, to be fair, modern day processors uh, can run a lot hotter, so it, it's not going to destroy your device if you're running at 90 um, now, even some of the latest AMD processors, which this is using an AMD processor, uh, can even run close to 100. I really don't like to keep things that hot, um, but I wouldn't worry too much if you're running in the 80s or 90s. It's not going to hurt your device, um, but it is good to have your cooling curve set to where it cools it down more efficiently, gives you more fan speed uh, whenever you start running hotter. So, um, and the other thing, if you're new to cooling and devices uh, like PCs, then you'll want to know that your wattage is also going to increase your power. So these other ones, um, like I'm in manual mode here, but if I go into these different modes, 
then they're going to have different fan curves built in based upon how much power they're using. So the more power you use, the hotter the device is going to get. And the other thing to remember is this device can give you even more performance if you have it plugged in. So remember this is 25 watts here. If we plug it in, I think it jumps, yeah, it jumps to 30. So that's going to take more power. It's going to run a little bit hotter. That also means it's going to perform better. But as long as it's not overheating, then you're fine. And so if you have any concerns, then just kind of turn on this real-time monitor and watch your temperatures. Now, um, you know, we're at 45. It's not a problem. If I um, go back in here and switch to manual, then... I'm, I'm already running cool, so it's not going to really run the fan any hotter. But if I start playing a game, then it's going to start bumping the fan up to keep it cool. So hopefully that gives you a good explanation of the fan curves. And um, if you want to know more about the uh, ROG Ally or the Steam Deck, I've got videos on that too, uh, then please check out my other videos. If you like the content, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. And uh, have a great one, everyone. Hi all, I noticed something in the video um, and I just wanted to throw a little insert here to make sure everyone understood. But when we're in manual mode, um, uh, you probably noticed the video had this set to 30 watts here. And so that was kind of confusing because you see all your other um, wattages are much higher. And that's because we have the power cord plugged in. So if we unplug this, then it should drop back down and we're going to go back into manual mode and now you can see that we've got the wattages that we originally set up and we can see our fan curves so what I'll ask you to do here is after you do all that setting go and hit this checkbox here um, so that's going to apply you're gonna hit yes and it's just gonna save all your settings against that manual mode now you can create other new modes if you want to have several different ones but you just want to make sure that your settings are saved here so just make sure you do that um, so that you don't lose the settings that you just did. And I'll let it jump back into the video uh, for the rest of this complete. Thanks, y'all.